So you've been working in Blender for a little while, and you probably are at a point where you want to share your work with other people. So I'm interested in showing you how to save this work so that you can save it and send it to other people, just as an image. There's nothing moving right now, so we're not going to have an animated object. We'll just have an image that we want to share with other people. Before I show you how to save that so you can share it with other people, I just want to review some of these things. Over here is everything, all of your assets that are in this file. So you have some cubes in this file. I have a camera in this file. I can click on this eyeball and I can see that cube 001 is this cube because if I hide it, that's the one that disappears. I can rename it if I want to by double clicking on it. Um, and that makes, that just helps me identify things. There's, if there's like 400 cubes on the screen, I can tell what is it is a part of. So I can hide, I can rename things, and I just wanted to point out this asset area over here, this collection of, of objects that you have. One of them is the camera. By default, there's a camera in there. If yours has been deleted, if you took it out, because sometimes when we start a project, we click on this and we can delete it, but you can add in another camera. So add camera and it places it um, in the middle of the screen where everything else is. So I'm gonna move this camera out. And what I'm interested in is seeing what the camera is seeing. I'm gonna move it up a little bit too. And if I click on this camera, I can see what this camera is visualizing. Now this camera, I can keep moving, I can rotate it until I get it on the view that I want it to do. But there's another shortcut. On my keyboard, if I hold the shift key down and tap the tilde, now the tilde is to the left of the number one of row of numbers. So shift tilde, I now have control with my arrows. I can zoom in, zoom out. Um, I also have game control. Um, if I use my mouse, I can rotate it the way direction I want it to point into. Um, I'm going to use my down arrow to zoom out a little bit. Now this is the view that I want to, but I'm still in manipulation mode. I still did my shift tilde. So when I'm done, I have to left click on my mouse. And then that is what will be saved. So whatever my camera is on, whatever it's pointing at is this is what will be showing to my friends, my family members, what I want to show my work. I want to put it on my Facebook page, some kind of social media, my Instagram. So in order to, I now have what my camera sees, that's what it's going to, to um, take the picture of. It's not a general save as. Um, the, to take the picture, at last I got to go to render, render image, it shows you again what the image is going to be of. I didn't add any color, so it's kind of boring. But I have to go to image, save as. I want to save it to my desktop as boxes.png. Honestly, you can change it to whatever file you might want it to be. There's a couple of different options here. PNG, JPG is a good image. I'm going to stick with the PNG and hit save as image. Now, because I saved to my desktop, I have this file here called boxes, and it just made an image of what I just created. Now, this fic picture is something I can send on an email. This picture I can send and post to my Instagram. This picture is something that I can use and do something with. So it's all based off of the camera that you have um, in your scene. You always need a camera. Again, it's under render, render image, and then image, save as.